BBLA 51, turn right, heading 183. 114, Papa, turn right 245, report localised established. Qantas and the Airbus A380, a pairing within the industry that has been quite interesting in the past two years and certainly since the emergence of the pandemic. The aircraft with the airline has always been a giant, of course being the only operator of the A380 on Australian shores. However, the pandemic rendered the aircraft widely useless, like for many other airlines. With Australian borders slammed shut, the Qantas International Network was reduced to zilch. Therefore, keeping the Airbus A380 on, flying simply domestic services between Melbourne and Sydney, was not a good idea. The aircraft therefore headed to the desert. However, as travel slowly but surely resumes and more people take to the skies to see their loved ones or generally just to travel, the need for the Super Jumbo has returned. Alan Joyce, who is the CEO of the Australian carrier, was never one to outright critique the A380 during the pandemic, like some other executives, rather confirming plans to welcome the type back eventually and that they believed it would play a fundamental role within the airline's operations for the next decade. Before the rise in demand, the A380s were expected to return in 2024, and this was at the time of the comments, some three years away. Therefore, no matter how much Alan Joyce noted that the A380s were still in their plans, people did question if it was truly worth bringing them back. Just before the close of the year, the A380 did return, and now the aircraft will begin operations in the coming days from Sydney through to Los Angeles. Crew training has been conducted since November, However, the return of the A380 is a little more complicated than just simply throwing it on the Sydney to Los Angeles service. The network will be changing this month and likely widely into the future due to restrictions in certain states preventing staff from travelling between states and efficiently utilising particular aircraft. Now the aircraft I speak of is namely that of the Boeing 787 that would usually operate on this extended long haul service. The A380 offers Qantas flexibility as it has nearly double the seats of the 787 and with 787 pilots based up north in Queensland and undergoing frustratingly long quarantine requirements, it simply doesn't make sense. A further reduction on 787 operations out of Melbourne will also come into effect and that daily 787 Sydney to LAX service will indeed be replaced with the very A380 I've been speaking of and will fly it three times weekly instead of the seven times weekly. The A380, according to Qantas, is an aircraft that will be aiding them during this summer period, while also resulting in pilots of the Boeing 787 series experiencing far less stress with quarantine requirements and more. It's certainly exciting times for Qantas, as they do see the Super Jumbo return to service. Although it's not going to be a rapid reintroduction, they will have a staggered arrival back into Australia, where then they'll be put once again onto services. That exact schedule, while has been somewhat mentioned, does have the potential to change, given the pandemic definitely throwing a spanner in the works with this new variant, and a lot of people questioning what the future does hold for travel, with more flights being cancelled than being booked. The 787 has been the backbone of the long-haul fleet for Qantas during this pandemic, with a lot of stress being put on pilots operating those relief flights. So them being able to get some respite thanks to the A380's return is certainly appreciated. What are your thoughts on the big news surrounding Qantas? You can let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Do be safe and take care, and I'll see you next time.